I'm back again with another update to the ongoing PC build and today I'm going to show you how I'm spraying my panels um, because I've got this the CIT barricade case which I've already shown a bit in the video here's it with an original black panel on it um, I originally sprayed it with sort of a white primer just so it fit in with the desk really this was only going to be a sort of cheap few week um, sort of case and I sort of realized I didn't want a case much bigger than this um, and I couldn't really find anything this size was sort of what I wanted so I decided I'm just going to make it um, to how I want it to be for anyone that's not been watching um, and I've also just thought because I'm doing loads of painting and stuff I don't want to be doing a full spray paint tutorial how I'm doing it on every video so this is just to show you how quick how easy it is um, to spray paint um, a PC but the most important thing you're going to want to do with this is take your time be prepared the reason I bought another case was because I did it really quick, I already had the computer built in it, you know, I wanted to just get back, spray it, put it all back together and get back to making YouTube videos. So um, it'd be good if it's sort of a separate case, not your main build, or if not, set your PC up on an anti-static mat somewhere and do it over a weekend and take your time. So a few things you're going to need is definitely you're going to want some spray paint primer. So you put this on first, um, which we'll show in a minute. Um, also as well because you want to clean it in between every coat um, you want to clean it down this is um, concentrated sugar soap um, you can dilate this down with water um, but you can use loads of different cleaners but I just find that quite nice to take off the dust um, and then you're also going to need your sort of whatever colour spray paint that you want this is the original white primer but I've actually used a white gloss which I can't find the can for and also I found with my grey with the primer a bit you might get the odd little spot on it tiny little spot in between coats get yourself some really super fine 1200 sandpaper this is like really like this is like finishing off little polishing jobs on cars and stuff really thin sandpaper and I almost just tear a bit off and just use the corner and you can just get rid of like those little bubbles that you'll get of your painting but most of all you just got to take your time and for another update before we um I start showing you all the videos of how I did it, the spray and the primer, the final finish, and then I will show you the panel on the cases. I've also got this this week, got the video coming for this this weekend. This is the Perex MX2002 Laser Gaming Mouse. It's an eight button gaming mouse, um, and it's rated up to 5600 DPI, and it cost me 20 pound. So I've got lights on it, you can change. I absolutely love this mouse. So everyone that's watching, that's what I got ready for this weekend. But first, I think I should show you the uh, priming. Alright, so first I'm going to use a bit of the old sugar soap, just get a bit moist, so hopefully should pick up most of the dust and the debris. And I'm just going to start with a thin coat of primer, I'm just going to dry it down, and I'm trying to go as best I can in the same direction. Oh, just take this off shot and get this all dried off, dust free. For now, I'm going to leave that for about half an hour and then I'm going to put some more on. Just added a second coat, now I'm going to go in for a third one. It's a bit heavier, a bit more spray on this one. So I'm pretty much done now. I don't know whether I'm going to give it another coat or not. It's had six coats. So there's a few little places. It's a little patchy because what I did is just after the fifth coat. Now that is some um, uh, wet and dry sandpaper. I didn't wet it, um, but that's a very fine 1200. You really need to find there was just some little bubbles and I just literally had it by the tip. Oh, sorry. Not in my normal camera place. I literally had like a tip pointing out on my finger and I just sort of went over them a bit. So we don't get any nasty bubbles once I put the gloss white on. So um, yeah, I'm all happy with it now. It's all dry. Well, dry-ish. So I won't touch it anymore. But it should be ready for a nice coat of paint. Um, I'm definitely taking my time with it as well. It's paying off. So hopefully I won't have to buy another case. Now that it's all primed, and I did find with the primer that I got, if you are in the UK, this Wilco primer, not too good. It was a bit splattering about. I was having to sort of clean the nozzle off. In between every coat but yeah just take your time um, I went for six coats I think it took me in total with the primer so um, that should be all you need um, so now I'm going to show you me adding the color 
So it's been drying for about two hours now, so I think it's uh, time to give it the first coat of the uh, gloss white. Still not 100% if I like this or not, because I've just sized it up next to the satin white upstairs on um, a fangirl that I painted, and I sort of prefer the satin white, but hey ho, no going back from here on, is there? So again, I'm going to probably do about six, maybe seven light coats, halfway in between, I think, from what I did on there, like little sand if there's any bobbles as well. Again, really light for the first coat, that's all you need. So on the next one, I'll probably show you it about the third coat. So I've played a few rounds as Battlefront. So this should be dry, ready for the third coat. Sort of wiping the nozzle over a few sprays because I don't want it to splatter anymore. Alright, let's go play some more Battlefront. So I did my sixth coat about an hour ago and I'm quite happy with it. Um, it's still a little patchy in places. You can still see it's a little bit wet and needs a bit of drying. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do similar to when I primed it. There's just only a couple of little bobbles. I'm just going to give it a little bit of sand and I'm going to give it a final two coats tomorrow morning. Um, here's the grill anyway, the finished grill. I don't know if you can see that. I'm zooming on camera, I'm really happy with it, but I'm going to do another couple of little coats in the morning, very sort of thin coats um, in just some areas where it needs uh, patching up. So it actually took me eight coats um, to spray the panel white, and here is the panel in a gloss white. It is a little bit creamy, it will look like this in the light, but once I've got these bright white lights off, it does um, sit in with the desk quite well. Um, my only recommendation is do your first three coats thin and then go a bit thicker, because I think that's why it took me eight. So we can see it here against the original. I'm going to remove the black panel. That's all put on. And I'm really happy with it. It's not perfect when you get up close. There's a few bobbles and stuff, but it's, I'm really happy with the effect that I've got. But just most importantly, you've really got to take your time with it. So next up in a couple of weeks, um, because I've actually damaged the new chassis, I dropped it. Thank God I've got an old chassis. I've got to sand down this top and then I'm going to spray this um, front panel all gloss black and then these bits gloss white so I will have a video update for you in a couple of weeks showing some really good tips and tricks on spraying front panels because there are some things that you uh, will need to know when it comes to doing all the switches and little bits that stick into it to make sure it actually looks like a really nice job and you don't ruin your case at the final hurdle. 